Hey folks, Schmidt here from Carl Tyler Chevrolet and Cadillac in beautiful Missoula, Montana. Nice sunny day today. I love it. Clouds in and out. Looking great. Look at what I have behind me here. That's not what you would normally see behind me. I have a tiny home. There's a big tiny house movement or small house movement going on around the world right now. And I have one of them right behind me. This thing is absolutely amazing. You need to come here and check this thing out. Holy smokes, this is awesome. I'm going to show you a quick video of it, give you a rundown of the information I know about it, and uh, then you need to come down here and check it out in person because, uh, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but boy, you got to come in and check this thing out. Wow. So this is made by Montana Tiny Homes. It's right here on our lot for you to come and check out. Uh, it's built on this trailer. The company here builds the trailer, builds everything on up. It's absolutely awesome. Number one question when they dropped it off today, I asked, hey, what about the insulation on this thing? That was something I had concerned about. Well, you see, it's done with all of this wood here on the side. It's kind of built like a log cabin and it's done with this tongue and groove. So let me show you kind of how this looks like. I love the fact that they have this exposed. So you can see this tongue and groove and then they put caulking all the way down it. So it is sealed up tight. This here lowers uh, right here. This will lower down, cover those windows, latch on there. So when you're driving this thing down the road, yes, folks, this is classified as an RV. That right there is an RV. You get extra credit points if you can tell me what movie that's from. Um, I know what you're thinking. It's not what you're thinking. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Let me show you the front of this. This is awesome. So it's got this awesome copper right here, this wood. This comes from uh, the Nordic countries because I guess the wood is, is a lot tighter uh, with the uh, wood grain. The knots aren't as big, all sorts of different stuff. This area right here in front, this is designed for your four-wheelers. This is designed for your snowmobiles. This is designed for your motorcycles. Uh, up here on the front up by this tire, you have places for batteries to mount. You have spots for solar panels to mount on this thing. So you can take this and go anywhere with it. Look at that. How awesome is this? Now you see the cables right here. This is not, not quite finished yet. So uh, there's still some customization that needs to be done here. But what he said, he's going to mount a box right here to have all your electrical connections and everything. Now there's a couple other things as far as the water tanks and all that stuff to go underneath. There's going to be... Um, your black water tanks, your gray water tanks, and your, of course your fresh water tank that's going to be in here. So here's Montana Tiny Homes. Check them out. Give me a call if you want to come see this. So it's going to have a 105 gallon fresh water tank, a 45 gallon black water tank, and two 45 gallon uh, gray water tanks. One of those is going to be for the shower. <laughs> yeah, folks, a shower. And the other one is going to be for the uh, sink, uh, the basin that's inside of there. Uh, it's awesome. So both of these gates right here open. So on the other side it opens. So it's not like you have to drive in and then back out, folks. You can drive all the way through and uh, totally evil can evil that. How awesome is that? So let's go inside and check this out. These, these steps here, they fold up into the porch uh, so you can drive down the road with this thing. It's awesome. Sealed up super tight. Uh, with that tongue and groove on the inside of this. Check this out. Holy smokes. Fridge, stove, sink. Whoa! Antique desk. How sweet is that? Yeah, that's awesome. This here folds down. Nice, easy transport. Look at the loft. Is that not awesome? Yeah. And then let's look right above me ceiling fan yeah how awesome so this is the inside tiny homes folks these are great over here there's your toilet right there look at that mirror mirror on the wall what's the coolest tiny house of them all here's the shower like i said this is not actually plumbed in just yet so it's not fully completed and up there, yeah, that looks like a TV. That's actually your heater, infrared heater. will keep this place nice and warm. You turn on that ceiling fan right there, and you are golden. So 
Insulation, that was my number one question. Uh, so the roof of this has basically, the roof and the floor have an R31 uh, level of insulation on this thing. And then the walls with the tongue and groove are about an R20. No drafts in this thing. If you've ever been in a wall tent or something like that, um, you know that uh, it can get cold. It can get a little drafty in there. Look at that. There's your air mattress right there. You plug that in. You're set up. Now, the guy that dropped this off, uh, he said that he had put a shower curtain here one time with one bed on one side and another bed on the other, and you were able to sleep right here. And That way, you know, if you're with somebody that you don't want to cuddle with or whatever, you got a little set of privacy. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, check this out. So these steps right here, you see how they're mounted on the wall? Well, they fold up and they latch right there. So they'll lift up. Let me see, I got a chair in the way right here. Let me move that. Uh, and it's all built right to this trailer. So you see these here, they lift up just like that and latch right on there. So get that out of your way. Do all your stuff down here. You don't have any. Oh man, this is awesome. So you think about pulling into an RV lot with this thing behind your truck. How many people are going to stop what they're doing to go, oh wow, look at that. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. Hey, you got a piece of land that you don't have a cabin built for yet? What about one of these on it? Yeah, uh, awesome, awesome. It would work. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This would be great. So many different uses. Right now, this one here, unfinished, $23,500. You want it finished, you want it plumbed with the, with the uh, toilet and the shower, $25,000. Comes with the trailer built on gooseneck trailer, ready to go, folks. Uh, RV license on this thing or title. What does that mean? That means no taxes, doesn't it? Hot dog, tiny house. I'm telling you, there is a huge tiny house movement in this country. So do two things for me. One, come see me and come see this house in person. You need to feel this. You need to smell this. This is wonderful. Or go see MontanaTinyHomes.com for more information. Hey, and just let them know that, hey, you know what? Schmitty over at Carl Tyler Chevrolet was the one that sent me there. You want a different design? You want a different style? Check it out right there. All sorts of different things. So this one here, I think this is the one we're sitting in right now. Um, built for the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation show in Las Vegas uh, is where this one was built. So yeah, awesome. Come check him out. MontanaTinyHomes.com right here at the Carl Tyler lot. We will talk to you soon. Sorry this video was so long, but man, this is so exciting. I absolutely love it. Look at those floors. How do you not love that? Much better than an RV. Much better. This is great. This is home. Yeah. All right. See you, folks. Give me a call if you have any questions. 406-543-2345 or search hashtag go see Schmitty on Facebook, Google, or Twitter, and be sure to visit MontanaTinyHomes.com.